Welcome back to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Life always changes and so do people, especially famous people. They change from style, form to career path. In this video, we will explore a very interesting topic. Top 20 celebrities you might not recognize today. Before starting, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to always receive breaking news about the lives of glamorous celebrities. Let's get started. Number 20. Yvonne Craig, born on May 16, 1937, in Taylorville, Illinois, was a renowned actress who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Rising to fame in the late 1950s, she gained notable attention for her role as Batgirl in the television series, Batman, from 1967. With her unique beauty, Yvonne quickly became an icon of the 1960s. Smooth white skin, shiny brown hair, and an alluring figure created a captivating image. Although Yvonne's appearance changed over time, making it challenging for audiences to recognize her, it didn't diminish her special alert. Despite some impact on her career after losing everything, Yvonne Craig's contribution to bringing the female superhero to the small screen is still considered a crucial part of film history. Number 19. Janice Rule, born Mary Janice Rule on August 15, 1931, in Norwood, Ohio, became famous in the 1950s and 1960s with notable roles in films such as Bell, Book and Candle, and The Subterraneans. With a graceful appearance and slender figure, Janice attracted attention from audiences and the film industry. In 1979, Janice Rule was diagnosed with lupus, an autoimmune disease. The illness led to acute episodes affecting her health and altering her appearance. Her skin darkened, hair started to thin, and her physique became frail. Janice Rule's transformation disappointed many, with some believing she had aged and was no longer suitable for leading roles. Despite these changes, her contributions to film remained significant, serving as inspiration for many actresses that followed. Number 18. Julie Adams, born Betty Mae Adams on October 17, 1926, in Waterloo, Iowa, gained fame in the 1950s and 1960s, becoming an icon through her role in the classic film, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Julie's enchanting presence, with smooth white skin, long blonde hair, and a slender figure, captivated a broad audience. However, as she entered her 60s, Julie's beauty underwent considerable changes. Elasticity faded from her skin, hair turned silver, and her slender figure diminished. Public scrutiny followed these changes, but Julie Adams maintained a positive attitude, refusing any cosmetic alterations. Despite the impact on her acting career, Julie remained a symbol of her era, making a significant contribution to film history. Number 17. Dorothy Provini, born Dorothy Michelle Provini on January 20, 1935, in Deadwood, South Dakota, gained fame in the early 1960s through roles in films like The Bonnie Parker Story and It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. With an enticing face, smooth white skin, brown hair, and vibrant eyes, Dorothy captured audience attention. As she passed the age of 50, Dorothy's appearance underwent unforeseen transformations. Skin lost elasticity, hair turned silver, and the sparkle in her eyes seemed to diminish. Despite these changes, Dorothy rejected cosmetic surgery interventions and maintained confidence. Although met with criticism for her changing looks, Dorothy Provini retained self-respect and positivity. Her acting career might have been affected, but her contributions were still highly regarded in the entertainment industry. Number 16. 
Martha Heyer, born on August 10, 1924, in Fort Worth, Texas, became famous in the early 1950s and 1960s through roles in films like Some Came Running and Houseboat. Possessing a sophisticated beauty with shining blonde hair, fair skin, and blue eyes, she was hailed as one of Hollywood's top beauties during its golden age. However, in the late 1960s, Martha Heyer faced health issues, being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. This ailment weakened her body and made movement difficult. Her appearance changed significantly, with wrinkled skin, white hair, and a gaunt figure. Martha Heyer's transformed appearance left the public disappointed, and she was perceived as having lost her former beauty. Her acting career suffered severe consequences, and she spent her later years in solitude, passing away on May 31, 2014, at the age of 89. Despite losing everything, Martha Heyer remained a Hollywood icon, admired for her enduring talent and beauty. Number 15. Kim Stanley, born Patricia Reed on February 11, 1925, in Tularosa, New Mexico, rose to fame in the 1950s and 1960s through remarkable performances in films like The Goddess and Seance on a Wet Afternoon. Considered one of the greatest stage actresses of all time, Kim Stanley had an exceptional ability to portray diverse characters. However, in the late 1960s, Kim Stanley encountered health and mental issues. Struggling with alcohol and drug addiction, her appearance changed dramatically. Once a beautiful woman, she became aged and haggard. The shocking transformation in Kim Stanley's appearance led to public dismay, and her acting career suffered serious consequences. Despite this, her contributions were still highly appreciated in the entertainment industry. Number 14. Anne Francis, born Anne Lloyd Francis on September 16, 1930, in Ossining, New York, was an American actress best known for her role as Altera in the classic science fiction film, Forbidden Planet, 1956. Francis began her acting career at a young age, gaining attention for her dazzling beauty and exceptional acting talent. With radiant blonde hair, shimmering blue eyes, and a slender figure, she embodied the epitome of futuristic beauty. However, towards the end of the 1960s, Anne Francis faced personal and health issues, leading to a significant change in her appearance. She no longer retained the radiant beauty of her youth, and the public gradually turned away. In her later years, Francis appeared in minor roles in films and television. She passed away in 2011 at the age of 80, nearly forgotten in the entertainment industry. Despite the challenges, Anne Francis is remembered as a testament to the talent and beauty of Hollywood's golden age. Number 13. Joan Fontaine, born Joan de Beauvoir de Havilland on October 22, 1917, in Tokyo, Japan, gained fame for her roles in classic films such as Rebecca, 1940, Suspicion, 1941, and Jane Eyre, 1944. Fontaine started her acting career as a teenager, quickly gaining recognition for her dazzling beauty and outstanding acting skills. Once hailed as the Queen of the Silver Screen, with her stunning dark hair and enchanting green eyes, Fontaine faced health and psychological issues in the late 1950s. Struggling with alcohol and drugs, her appearance changed significantly, and she no longer retained the radiant beauty of her youth. The transformation in Joan Fontaine's appearance shocked and disappointed the public, leading to a decline in her popularity. She only appeared in lesser-known films later in life, and her career was no longer as highly esteemed. Despite this, Joan Fontaine remains a respected and remembered actress, representing the talent and beauty of Hollywood's golden era. Number 12. Eva Allen, 
Born Eva Birgitta Allen on February 13, 1950, in Landskrona, Sweden, was a Swedish actress famous for roles in Italian and American films in the 1960s and 1970s. Allen was once dubbed the cinematic beauty for her dazzling appearance with golden hair and captivating blue eyes. However, in the late 1970s, she faced health and psychological issues, struggling with addiction to alcohol and drugs. This led to a drastic change in her appearance, with Allen aging and losing the radiant beauty of her youth. In her later years, Allen appeared in minor roles in film and television. She passed away in 2022 at the age of 72, nearly forgotten in the entertainment industry. Despite the challenges, Eva Allen's contributions to cinema are acknowledged. Number 11. Tuesday Weld, born Susan Kerr Weld on August 27, 1943, in New York, gained fame for her roles in classic films like The Graduate, 1967, Pretty Poison, 1968, and M.A.S.H., 1970. Weld was once hailed as the cinematic beauty for her dazzling appearance with golden hair and enchanting blue eyes. However, in the late 1970s, she faced health and psychological issues, struggling with addiction to alcohol and drugs. This led to a significant change in her appearance, and Weld no longer retained the radiant beauty of her youth. Tuesday Weld's career experienced highs and lows, with her later years marked by challenges. Nevertheless, she is remembered as a respected and admired actress, and her contributions to cinema are celebrated. Despite the fading of her star power, Tuesday Weld's enduring talent and beauty will not be forgotten. Number 10. Linda Harrison, born on July 26, 1945, in Berlin, Maryland, is a film and television actress widely known since 1968 for her role as Nova in the classic science fiction film, Planet of the Apes. Harrison possessed a radiant beauty with shining golden hair, captivating blue eyes, and an alluring figure. She was hailed as one of the most famous beauties of the 1960s. However, in 1973, Harrison faced a severe car accident, undergoing numerous plastic surgeries as a result. Post-surgery, her appearance changed drastically, with a face marked by scars and a thinner physique. Public perception of Harrison after the accident was overwhelmingly negative. Many believed she had destroyed her natural beauty and was no longer deserving of the title of a beauty queen. Her career suffered significantly, with only minor roles in less prominent films. Despite the loss of her radiant beauty, Linda Harrison remained a talented actress with substantial contributions to cinema, particularly in the science fiction genre. Number 9. Joan Collins, born Joan Henrietta Collins on May 23, 1933, in Paddington, London, England, rose to fame with her portrayal of the villainous Alexis Colby in the television series, Dynasty. Joan possessed a sophisticated beauty with thick black hair, sparkling green eyes, and a perfect hourglass figure. She was a queen on the red carpet, capturing every lens. Over time, the injustices of aging visited Joan, leaving marks of a life filled with ups and downs. Joan did not resist the changes, embracing them while maintaining her passion. She continued to shine, whether with her white silver hair or the deep wrinkles etched on her face. Initially, the public held nostalgic memories of her past beauty, but gradually, they saw the power and confidence Joan exuded. She proved that true beauty lies not just on the surface but in a proud attitude and indomitable spirit. Number 8. Eva Six, born Eva Klein on June 14, 1934, in Budapest, 
Hungary, gained fame in the 1960s with roles in films like The Girl from Rio and The Bushido Blade. With flowing blonde hair, radiant skin, and a seductive figure, Eva was celebrated as one of the most alluring figures of the 1960s. While entering middle age, Eva's natural beauty might have undergone changes, but she retained her captivating allure. She resisted the temptation of cosmetic surgery, continuing to shine with confidence and grace. Despite some criticism regarding her changed appearance, Eva Six remained an icon of sensuality, inspiring many. Number 7. Elke Sommer, born Elke Schletz on November 5, 1940, in Berlin, Germany, gained widespread recognition with her appearance in the 1959 film, The Black Forest Girl. With a beautiful face, enchanting blue eyes, and shimmering blonde hair, Elke quickly became one of the beauty icons of the 1960s. Towards the late 1970s, Elke Sommer experienced changes in her physical appearance. She gained weight, developed wrinkles, and her once shiny blonde hair turned gray. These changes led to a decline in public admiration and fewer significant roles. Nevertheless, it cannot be denied that Elka Summer was one of the most talented and beautiful actresses in world cinema. Number 6. Julie Newmar, born on August 16, 1933, in Los Angeles, California, was a renowned actress, dancer, and singer famous for her role as Catwoman in the popular TV series, Batman, 1966-1968. Julie possessed legendary beauty with an hourglass figure, long graceful legs, and a charmingly elegant face. However, in the 1970s, Newmar faced a rare condition causing hair loss. This sudden change transformed her from a beautiful woman into a bald-headed figure. The abrupt transformation led to public alienation, with many perceiving her as mentally unstable and unfit for acting roles. Despite these challenges, Julie Newmar's substantial contributions to the world of cinema cannot be overlooked. Number 5. Eva Renzi, born on November 3, 1944, in Berlin, Germany, started her acting career at the age of 16 and quickly became one of the leading stars of German cinema. In the 1960s, she was a glamorous icon with her shining blonde hair, captivating blue eyes, and well-proportioned figure. In 1970, Eva Renzi faced a major life-changing event as she was diagnosed with cancer. The treatments she underwent, including chemotherapy and radiation, resulted in a significant transformation of her appearance. She became thin, frail, and experienced hair loss. The sudden change in Eva Renzi's appearance surprised the public, causing disappointment and a turning away from her. Her career suffered as she had to resort to reality TV shows to make a living. Eva Renzi passed away on August 16, 2005, due to cancer leaving behind memories of one of the most talented and beautiful actresses in German cinema. Number 4. Mary Ewer, born Eileen Mary Ewer on February 18, 1933, in Glasgow, Scotland was a talented actress known for roles in films such as Look Back in Anger and Sons and Lovers. Mary had an elegant appearance with striking blonde hair. However, in 1972, she suddenly appeared with a different look, thin, pale, and with thinning hair. Many speculated an eating disorder was the cause. Mary Ewer's drastic change in appearance shocked the public, and her career was significantly affected. Despite this, she remained a talented actress who had made substantial contributions to global cinema and theater. Number 3. Senta Berger 
born Senta Verhoeven on May 13, 1941, in Vienna, Austria, gained widespread recognition in the 1960s with impressive roles in films such as O oh Soul Mio, Major Dundee, and Our Man in Marrakesh. With a sophisticated beauty, pale skin, black silky hair, and a well-proportioned figure, Senta was hailed as one of the most beautiful actresses in Europe. In recent years, Senta Berger faced a major life challenge, thyroid cancer. The illness led to significant changes in her physique, making her look thin and causing hair loss. The sudden transformation in her appearance left the public astonished, and many believed she no longer resembled the queen of cinema. Despite these challenges, Senta Berger demonstrated resilience, facing her illness with courage and overcoming difficulties. Number 2. Jill Dorothy Ireland, born on April 24, 1936, in London, United Kingdom, began her acting career in 1955, quickly gaining fame for her beauty and charm. Notable works include, Simon and Laura, 1955, and Three Men in a Boat, 1956. In 1984, Jill Ireland was diagnosed with breast cancer, leading to multiple surgeries and chemotherapy. The harsh treatments caused a significant change in her appearance, pale skin, thinning hair, and a slender figure. The public was surprised and sympathetic, expressing concern for her career. Despite battling the cruel disease, Jill Ireland maintained an optimistic spirit, becoming an inspiration for many facing cancer. Number 1. Capucine, born Germaine Hélène Irene Lefebvre on January 6, 1928, in Toulon, France, gained fame through roles in films like The Pink Panther and What's New Pussycat. She was a French actress with captivating charm and a unique style. With mesmerizing blue eyes, black hair, and fair skin, Capucine drew attention. However, in the 1970s, she developed alcohol and drug addiction. Frequently appearing in public intoxicated, with darkened skin, dry hair, and a thin physique, Capucine's drastic change disappointed her fans. Capucine's career suffered significantly due to her addictions, and she gradually faded from the spotlight. Despite her life's ups and downs, she remains remembered as a talented French actress. And that concludes the list of top 20 celebrities you wouldn't recognize today. We hope you enjoyed this video and were surprised by the transformations that time has brought to the stars we once knew. What are your thoughts? Feel free to share your opinions in the comment section below. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more fascinating stories from the world of entertainment. See you in the next video.